What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new here and I love to talk about all things Peloton cycling and fitness. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Sunday and today's video is a real fun one to film. I'm going to be doing an athletic wear slash athleisure haul for about the last six months. I make a new one of these roughly every six months and just go through everything that I've bought. This time around it is majority Lululemon. We have a couple other brands sprinkled in, but majority Lululemon. And I also have special Lululemon stuff from Maui that has like the Hawaii decals on it, which I will talk about the whole experience getting that at the end. So if you're interested in that, like stay till the end and I definitely will talk about it. But I'll start with the non Hawaii stuff first. And I'm just going to go up by category. It will be a try on haul. I'll try to say the color, size, where it's from for everything. Some of these things are definitely not in stock anymore because it is from the past six months, but I will link similar things down below. So let's just get right into the first category, which will be sports bras. We got two Lululemon and two Aloe, but we will start with the Lululemon. They are both the same bra, which is the Lululemon Align Reversible Bra. I got both of them in size 8, which is actually a size up from my typical sports bra size in Lululemon, but it's because I don't wear these to work out in typically. I can wear them for yoga and sometimes I do, but they are definitely low support in my opinion. I also get them in a looser size. The first one I got, which is definitely my favorite, is the black reversible with heritage 365 camo deep coal multi so this is the camo side it's just like black camo and then the reversible side is just straight black i almost always wear it on the camo side because i think the camo is cuter but it's definitely nice to have the black color that's just like a little more neutral if i'm doing a neutral outfit and then the other colorway i got is diamond dye pitch gray graphite gray with the reversible also being graphite gray. And again, I usually wear it on the diamond dye side because I think it's a cooler pattern, but it's nice to have the option. And I absolutely love these. These are not padded. They don't even like come with pads that you can remove. So just be aware if you like want a padded sports bra, this is not it. But I work from home and I wear these almost every single day. Like this is the most comfortable bra in my opinion. And I actually have another one that's like three years old, I think. And I love it. I still wear it. It's great. It's in great condition. The only wear that I have from the one that's like three years old is actually the Lululemon logo is wearing off on the side that I don't wear a lot because since it's like reversible, there's the logo on both sides. So the side that rubs against my skin is wearing off. But besides that, it's in great condition. So when I saw these on sale in their Black Friday sale, I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to pick up some more. I love them. Very comfortable wear them all the time and they wear great. So those were two really great additions to my closet. And then I actually have two sports bras from Aloe, which are the same bra. They are the wellness bra. This one is in true navy. And I also got this one in black and they are size medium. I have not gotten a lot of things from Aloe actually. Maybe like a year ago, I ordered a pair of shorts and a sports bra off their website and Part of it's my fault because I ordered smalls in both things because I'm typically like a small size six in Lululemon. So I thought that would be my size. But also part of it is their fault because when I got it, obviously I needed to go up a size, but I also didn't think the quality was very good. So that kind of like dissuaded me from trying aloe again. But really I was influenced when I was going to Equinox because a lot of people wear aloe there. And I'm like, this is so cute. And I saw a girl wearing this bra and I was like, this bra is so cute. It's ribbed, it has padding. It's really everything that I like in a bra. So I went to the Aloe store in New York City and just 
bought the black one back in like September when I was in New York and I liked it so much. And then for their Black Friday sale, this was 50% off. And I thought that was a great deal because it's like a core color. And I was wearing the black one like every single week. Like this bra is so comfortable and it's a little more supportive than the Align bras. So I actually can get away with wearing it to work out. I don't typically do like running with this bra. I think that I would need something more supportive, but for like strength, cycling, I can definitely wear this bra. So I've been wearing both of these a lot recently. You probably see it in like all of my other videos. I really, really like these. These have been like my top choice go-to bras. As soon as I've done the laundry, I'm wearing them again. My next category is workout tops. And I actually only have two tops, which is pretty impressive for me. But honestly, I usually just wear a sports bra to work out. But the first top is no surprise to anyone if you watched any of my other athletic wear hauls. It is an ebb to street tank cropped in size six in color poolside, which I think is a really, really pretty blue. And these are my absolute all time favorite Lululemon tops. It has a built in bra, so I don't need to wear a bra with it. I absolutely love these. Like if I'm going on vacation, doing anything athletic and I need to wear a tank top, like I'm 100% wearing one of these. I have this in three other colors. I have like a black and then a pastel green and a pastel pink. So I really like this blue color because it's a little more bright and it was also on sale so when I saw it on sale I was like I have to get it but I have been trying to limit myself since I bought this one I'm like I don't really need more than four but I do really love these I've gotten a ton of use out of this already and yeah these are just really really great comfortable tops I personally like this more than the Align tank, which I feel like is the other like popular tank top from Lululemon because you get a little more like support and a little more coverage in the front. Like it rises pretty high up on your chest, which I appreciate. And I also think that the logo is pretty cool. It like blends in with the shirt compared to it being a silver logo, which I think is just a nice touch and it's ribbed. Absolutely love this top. This was a great purchase. And then I got another Swiftly Tech Long Sleeve Shirt 2.0 Race Length in size eight in this super, super pretty color called Marble Dye Commander, which I like to call a blue tie dye. So when I was growing up, I was on a swim team and our color was blue and it was like a summer swim league. So I feel like we had a lot of blue tie dye stuff. So when I saw this, I was like, I need it for the color because I do have three other long sleeve Swiftleys. But in my defense, they all serve a little bit different of a purpose. And I have been marathon training a lot lately been going on the long runs so I've been wearing a lot of long sleeve Swiftleys and this one has been a uh, top of pile I've been wearing it quite a bit I like the race length because it's a little more crop than one of the full length ones I have two size six and two size eight Swiftleys because I think they serve a different purpose. Sometimes if I'm going on like a hike or something, I find that the bigger size is a little more comfortable. But if I'm going on a run, I really like it to snatch me in. But I honestly do wear this for runs as well. So it's really a toss up, but this was just a color I could not resist. After this, I honestly don't need any more long sleeve swift leads, but they just, they get you with the cute colors. I just, I couldn't resist. My next category is leggings and I have three pairs of leggings all from Lululemon and all the same material. So I have two pairs of Wonder Trains 25 inch inseam size six. The first color is this ripened raspberry pink. I absolutely love this. Pink is easily my favorite color. So I was really excited when I saw these on sale. And I have a lot of Wonder Trains at this point. Like I don't even know the count, but these are definitely my go-to legging for like all workouts, yoga, strength, cycling, running. I am wearing Wonder Trains, easily my number one legging. Favorite thing from Lululemon. I like them more than Align leggings for working out. Like I just think that these are perfect. The only thing I would like is if the butt seam was like the seam on a lines where it's a V. This is a straight across butt seam. So it's not like 
the most flattering thing ever, but I do really love these. I also think I could go up to a 28 inch inseam, like 25 is ankle length to me. They could be like a little bit longer, but honestly, there's usually more colors in the 25 inch and like sometimes it's nice to be a little cropped. And then the other color I have, I actually don't know what color it is. I thought it might be poolside, but when you compare it to the poolside tank I have, it's slightly darker, but it is this beautiful blue color. And I actually got these at a thrift store in Hawaii. And when I first touched them, I thought that they were aligns actually because they feel very soft, but they're definitely wonder trains because they have the straight across like butt seam, which is the dead giveaway. But I do think that Lululemon is starting to make Wonder Trains like a thinner material or has like changed the composition a little bit because the newer ones like these two feel a little thinner than my older ones that I've had for like two to three years, which is a little disappointing, but I still do like the new ones as well. They're still easily my favorite legging. So I was super happy to get like some bright colors. I feel like I go back and forth right when I got into working out in like 2020. I was really into like pastel leggings. Like I have pastel blue, I have pastel green, like I have a lot of pastel leggings. Then I moved to like all dark neutrals, like black, dark blue. And now I guess I'm kind of into like jewel tones, but I do like wearing cool bright colors to the gym. I feel like it just makes it a little more fun. And then the last pair of leggings I have are Invigorate leggings, 25 inch inseam, size six black. And I also got these on sale. And basically to my understanding, the Invigorate leggings are exactly like Wonder Trains, except they have side pockets. And I was looking for some good leggings with side pockets because I only have one other pair of like workout leggings that have pockets. They're also Lululemon. I believe they're the speed up tights. And I'm honestly just not a fan. It's a very like athletic-y material. And I feel that they're very, very compressive. And I think that one Wonder Trains and Invigorates are also very compressive, but I like this like smooth material more than like the straight up athletic material. And since I've been going on longer runs, I do have a running belt, but honestly, I prefer just to wear leggings that have pockets. So I can just shove my phone in one side, shove my gels in the other, and I'm good to go. So when I saw these were on sale and in black, I was like, oh, let me pick them up. And yeah, I've been wearing them to run and so far so good. They stay up really well. I don't have problems with leggings rolling down like with any of my leggings from Lululemon, but I do think that these are more comfortable than the speed up ones that I was previously using. Also the speed up ones were like several years old. So it's always nice to have a new pair of leggings to get you through the long runs. My next category is going to be sweatshirts and sweatpants. And we'll start with my favorite edition. I absolutely love this. It is a sweatsuit from Aloe. It is the Oculade straight leg sweatpants. I got them in a size small in the color Espresso, which is the super pretty brown. And then the Oculade hoodie, also in a size small in the color Espresso as well. I got these during the Black Friday sale because for Aloe, everything went on 30% sale for Black Friday, which I think is awesome compared to like Lululemon that just discounts certain things. Like it's great to know that at least once a year, Aloe has this like huge sale that you can get anything you want. It was definitely still pricey for a sweatsuit, but in my defense, I actually don't have like any matching sweatshirts and sweatpants. So it's nice to have like something that looks a little cohesive. I've been wearing it to like the airport or out and about. I just think it's super cute. And I also like the length on the sweatpants a lot. They're fairly long. So if you're shorter than like five, six, these might not work for you. You can like roll the waistband to like kind of make them a little bit shorter but i really like the length that's a huge plus for me a lot of sweatpants i have when i sit down you can like see my ankles which i just don't want my ankles exposed that's you know a little chilly so i really really like the length my only complaint about aloe is when i first ordered these i looked at the size chart and i was like Okay, for aloe tops, I'm 100% a medium because I've been wearing a medium in the wellness bra and like 
there's no way I could go down to a small for that. The medium is 100% the right size. So I got a medium for the sweatshirt and I was trying to debate if I should get a medium for the sweatpants since I was ordering them online. But I looked at the size chart and based on the size chart, I should be a small. So I ended up getting a small, but I was like worried that that would not be big enough because I had ordered small shorts in the past that hadn't been big enough. But the small fit and the medium sweatshirt was humongous. Like it's supposed to be oversized, but it was not keepable. Like if it was on the line, I would have just kept the medium because like returning and exchanging is annoying, but I definitely need to go down a size. So just be mindful that their like sweatsuits seem to run fairly large slash like they might just have inconsistent sizing between their sports bras and their hoodies but I did have to go through an exchange it wasn't hard and it didn't cost any money I just had to like go to the post office return medium got a small but just something to keep in mind besides that this sweatsuit is so so comfortable I absolutely love it I want to get another color of it but I honestly will probably wait until like next year's Black Friday sale just because it is expensive and like I know I can get it on a discount if I wait so that's why I've been holding off I'm going to Europe later in the year and I like plan on this being my like travel outfit when we're going between cities I am just excited I love it I wear it at home all the time it's so so comfortable and then I also got two Lululemon scubas so the first one is this full zip oversized scuba in the color Cassis and the size is x small small they only come in three sizes and this is the the smallest size so I'm sorry if you're smaller than me because I feel like this fits me perfectly it's just like a really good oversized cropped look and I was wearing these a ton when I was going to the gym like this was a sweater I was wearing every morning I have a black half zip and I'll also get to the other half zip I have but the half zips I think are a little cuter but nothing can beat the convenience of just zipping down your sweater shrugging it off and then you're ready to go to the gym so I was getting a ton of use out of this sweater in specific but since I have quit Equinox and started working out from home again I honestly don't wear it as much but I still think it's a very very cute sweater and I really like like the dark red I feel like it matches a lot of like navy blues or black I think it just goes with everything and yeah it's like a little more fun than just like a black color it's a little more unique and then the other scuba I got is also oversized it is a half zip and it's in this like heathered gray color and it has Equinox branding which is just underneath the hood I like don't think it's that bad you definitely won't see it if I am not having my hood up and like I don't mind if people see it the reason I got this sweatshirt is because when I signed up for Equinox they like gave you I think a hundred dollar gift card and basically you couldn't use it towards like your actual membership dues so I just needed to get something from like their shop and they had this and I was like oh I really like the black Black hoodie that I got so I might as well just get another color and like no regrets I really like the gray it matches a lot I used it a lot when I was going to the gym every day not so much anymore but I still wear it from time to time it's good if you're like going on a hike or just running errands so I probably don't need any more scubas but I did get a lot of use out of these and will continue to use them and if you can't tell I get a lot of my Lululemon stuff on sale now that I know like exactly what I like from Lululemon so I got the full zip on sale too so you know Know, made the price a little bit better. My final category before my Lululemon Hawaii haul is just like miscellaneous. I got some random things here. So we'll start out with Maven thread headbands, which I've talked about a ton on my channel. Right when I started my channel, I was like, oh, like what headbands do you like? And somebody commented and was like, oh my gosh, I love Maven thread headbands. And literally off that comment, I just ordered two from Amazon and I love them so much they are these really thick headbands and they just catch all the sweat and I'm a sweaty person so I need something this thick on my head to catch all the sweat they're so great for running but honestly I wear them anytime I'm gonna sweat like if I'm doing cycling I'll also wear them and I was using the same two that I had from Amazon for literally like 
over two years. And then the other week I was like, I just need more. Like I am washing them. I'm waiting for them to come out of the wash. Like I want some other colors. So I just went directly on their website and they're actually way cheaper on their website. But the downside is that you have to pay for shipping. So I got these six headbands and I believe they were only like $2 each. They were running a sale at the time, but I got like a pack of four. I believe it was these four for like, I don't know, $7 and then maybe these for like three each. And then I did have to pay $6 in shipping, but it still worked out to be like cheaper than if I ordered them from Amazon. And I am so happy. It is so nice to have like way more color choices because my old two were like blue and red with a bandana print on them, which they're still cute. I still stick with it, but like some days you just want like a plain color and I can like match it to whatever long sleeve shirt I'm wearing when I'm doing my long run. I just love it. I feel like it makes doing the long runs like a little more fun and it's definitely nice to not rush them through the wash or like have to think about if I will have like a headband clean for my run. So yeah, definitely glad that I really stocked up on them. And my my blue and red bandana ones that are old like they're pilling a little bit but they're still in great usable condition i just used one today like i know that these will last a long time the only other headband that i've tried is the lululemon headband and i am not a fan not compared to these i think these are way better these trap so much more sweat and i am very sweaty so you can trust my review on those and then another random thing i got was this lululemon bucket hat because surprise surprise it was on sale. It is in size small medium and it's in the color autumn orange, which I actually really like this color. I was unsure about it when I saw it in the store, but it was marked down to like $14 and I do like bucket hats. I think they're cute. So I was just like, you know what? $14, like I should just get it. And it actually matches like a surprising amount of things. Like I feel like it's not a neutral but it really looks good with like denim, in my opinion. It kind of contrasts nicely. I like the little pocket on it. And yeah, I just think it's like a cute hat. Obviously I don't wear it every day, but you know, I think there's outfits that look nice with it. And yeah, it's a good purchase. I actually kind of want this in more colors now, but I'm trying to hold off because how many Lululemon bucket hats do you really need? But this was a surprisingly good purchase. I had some doubts when I was buying it, but I've grown to like it a lot more. And then the last thing in this category is these Bomba socks. I don't know the colorway. And the only reason I got these is because I was ordering a foam roller and needed to like meet the free shipping minimum from the website. And I was like, oh, let me just like add something that's like $5. And yeah, I just ordered these on a whim and I absolutely love these. They are like the perfect thickness for me when I usually work out. My favorite socks ever are Soul Cycle socks that I got when I went to a Soul Cycle class on my birthday for free. I do not know the brand, but I love those. Those are like really good thickness in my opinion. And then I also wear the feature socks that I got like through Peloton using like Peloton referral credit. And I think that these are not as good as the Soul Cycle socks, but they're better than the feature socks. I definitely like a thicker sock, but it's still breathable. And I feel like the feature socks that are really thin and like an athletic material, I get more blisters with. But I don't know if that's like actually true, but I feel like based on my long run so far, I do better if I have a thicker sock. So I've been wearing these a lot. I don't usually do workouts where I need the grippy parts of the sock. Like if I'm doing yoga or something, I'd rather just do it barefoot. But if that's something that matters to you, it also has the grippy part. And yeah, I just think that this is another good athletic sock brand. I think I'll definitely end up purchasing more in the future. Okay, so that was all of the normal clothes that I've bought in the past six months. So now I'll talk about the Lululemon clothes which I did briefly talk about in my like Maui vlog, but those vlogs are quite long. So if you're just curious about like the Lululemon in Maui, basically when we went, we went this past October. So October, 2022, I believe there's only two Lululemons on the island and we went to both several times. Thankfully we lived really close to one. So that was really convenient. And then the other one was like, near a lot of touristy stuff, but I'd say we went like 
maybe four times over the course of our stay. And honestly, like that's my best advice if you really want something specific and you are a popular size. So essentially when you go, there's just like a rack with all the Hawaii stuff on it. They restock, but when you ask them, at least when we asked them, they were like, oh, like we don't really know like when the restocks come, um, just keep coming back. Like they restock every like three to four ish days. So definitely not a lot to go on. And we didn't want to rearrange our whole vacation either. So it's not like we were going like at open every single day maybe if you could do that you could like really get your cream of the crop pick but in my experience size six stuff was the most rare and then four to eight was also uncommon to come by so just keep that in mind if you're like a zero or like a size 12 I think that you have a way better chance of like just walking in and getting what you want and there also seemed like there was like no rhyme or reason of like what they had in stock. So the first time we went in, the only thing that they had in size six were these aligns with pockets, 25 inch inseam and in color black with the Hawaiian islands on the calf in this rainbow. I'm not sure if the rainbow was like special. We weren't in pride month or anything, but I saw a lot of like silver decals compared to rainbow. And there were also biker shorts when we went the first time, but there were no biker shorts in size six. Like this was the only size six thing and all of it is final sale. So like you can't just buy a ton of it and like keep going back and then return stuff if you don't want it. So I wasn't sure if we were gonna come back to Lululemon. So I just bought these being like, oh, if this is the only thing I can get, I'm still happy with them. I probably would have preferred a lines that didn't have pockets just because it would have been cheaper. I think these were like $130 because everything is full price since it has the Hawaii decal, but I actually do really like them. It is nice that they have pockets now that I have them. They're great for lounging. Like that's usually what I use aligns for. So it's nice to have the pocket. I think they're cute. And like, I only have one other pair of black aligns that I literally got in 2017, I think. So they're quite old. So it was nice to have a new pair as well. I think the logo is really cute. And yeah, I was happy with these. And then we went back a couple other times and I believe I got all of these things maybe like the third or fourth time we went back. We were definitely striking out for a little bit, but I got two pairs of shorts, which in the store, I'm like, do I really need two pairs? But it just, it got to me. I was like, I want this decal so badly. So these are high rise hottie hots, five inch inseam in strawberry milk, which I absolutely love pink. So when I saw these, I was like, I need them. And it has the silver decal in the back. And yeah, size eight is not my typical size. I'd usually do a size six, but honestly, I think these fit me pretty well. They don't feel very big at all. They actually feel smaller than the other size eight shorts I got. So really no complaint. And I really, really liked the color. So I was happy to snag those. And then the other pair of white shorts I got, which I actually still have the tag on. In my defense, we got back and it was already mid-October. So it's not like I have the opportunity to wear a lot of shorts, but they are the speed up mid-rise short, four inch inseam lined. Oh, the hottie hots are also lined in size eight as well in the color white and they also have the logo on the back and these are actually very very comfortable they're definitely a little bit looser but i think they're really cute and i'll definitely wear them just for like lounging around most likely but i just i couldn't resist they are a nice short and I think they're very cute. So I was happy to pick those up as well. And then the final thing I got, which I also haven't worn yet, is the Lululemon Align Tank, again in strawberry milk in size eight. And it has the Hawaii Islands in white on the back. And there was actually also a white Align Tank and I was really struggling between the two or if I should get both, but I was like, no, you only need one Align Tank. And size eight is actually my preferred size in the Align Tanks. They did have size six, but for me, I find Align Tanks to be like very tight. So I'm glad that they had size eight. That was the right size for me. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to wear this in the summer too. I think it'll be great for like loungewear. I really, really like pink. So I was really happy to get like two strawberry milk colors. And that's everything that I got from Maui. They also had a couple different decals. Like they had a decal of a pineapple and they also had a decal of like the hand symbol that Hawaiians do. 
but I just wanted the Hawaii Island decal. Like in my opinion, that one was easily the cutest. They also had some like leggings in different colors, but it was like very sparse. The time that I got the Align tank, they had like a whole row of Align tanks and I believe it was pretty early in the morning. So I feel like they had just restocked. But besides that, all the other stuff was like, oh, like they just have this one color, one decal in this like one random size. I think it was like very picked over a lot of the days that we went, but just keep that in mind that I thought that I would walk in and it would be like very easy to get everything I wanted the first time we went, which is not true. So just be prepared. And they only do the decals in Maui. They used to do it in Oahu as well, but they've stopped that for like quite some time now. So Maui is the only island I believe that you can get the decal from. So that is it for my athletic slash athleisure haul. I feel like I'm getting a little boring. I didn't experiment or like try a lot of new things these past six months. I've pretty much just picked up on sale, like things that I already know I like, which honestly is like kind of nice because then you don't have any duds like I love everything that I got in these past six months and I've been using them a lot and I'm really excited for the weather to turn a little bit warmer so I can wear my Hawaii things I think they're very very cute I love the pink and yeah it's really fun to reflect on everything that I purchased in the past six months and see that I am using a lot of it which is great to see let me know if you've bought anything this past six months this past year that you've really liked I'm always looking for active wear recommendations it's always fun to try out new brands and yeah I just feel like it makes your workout a little more fun to like have new and cute clothes to work out in so that is it for this video I hope you guys are staying safe having an awesome week and I'll see you in my next video bye